Grace, as you will recollect, Concordia and Taoiseach was the young woman with intellectual disabilities who remained in a foster home at the centre of abuse allegations and we're waiting for terms of reference for the Commission of Investigation into this case. And I understand, Concordia, at least I'm led to understand that the Cabinet was expected to get an update on this case two weeks ago from the Attorney General. So was that briefing provided is the Taoiseach now in a position to clarify when the terms of reference will be made public and when the Commission of Investigation will start its work and can you say whether a separate case where a young woman, a young person with an intellectual disability was left in a foster home in the Cork Kerry area whether that will now be part of the Commission of Investigation and the, the commitment in the programme for government which uh, obliges the government to commence a statewide review of bed capacity and the length of time patients wait in emergency departments. In uh, February, the HSE report revealed that 2,700 citizens aged over 75 years spent more than 24 hours on trolleys. And yesterday, there were 257 pa patients on trolleys with our Lady of Lourdes in my own constituency having the highest number in the state. And today, nursing staff in that hospital and midwifery are undertaking a work to rule to protest at the vacant 104 whole time equivalent posts that are urgently uh, needing filled. Now, the Taoiseach, in response to another question, denied that a moratorium was in place. He then went on to say, if the hospital has the resources, of course they can recruit. But if the government doesn't give, the hospital, the resources, then of course they cannot uh, recruit. So when will the hospital capacity bed review commence? When will it conclude? And how do you expect to reach the target set in the programme for government for adduction in emergency department waiting times if you can't fill the jobs that are vacant and are opposing a moratorium on new jobs? 104 vacant post Taoiseach in our Lady of Lourdes Hospital. Thank you, Deputy Adams. First of all, Deputy Adams, uh, we haven't had a briefing on uh, the young woman n named Grace from the Attorney General. I will come back to you on this matter uh, to see what progress is being made. Um, in, rega in regard to the bed capacity review, uh, I, I, I did hear the, um, the discussion this morning in respect of Our Lady of Lourdes and the 104 vacancies that are there. There is no uh, embargo on recruitment provided that, the, um, provided that the hospital in question has got the resources to recruit if, these, if they are available. And I listened carefully to the discussion that took place and particularly no embargo in respect of critical appointments like that. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll have the Minister for uh, the new Minister for Health advise you, Deputy, as the commencement of the bed capacity review and its, uh, and its um, uh, Thank completion you, date. Thank you, Taoiseach Deputy Brendan Howland.